So hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I want to show you how to create a list out of array. So we want to create a uh, array based list. So let's start new project. Let's call it array based list test. And this in this project, we want to create a new class. The name of the class is array based list. So this, we already saw the list interface and the list operation. So we want to make the list ourselves using array. So the list will be using array. So in this class, array based list, I want to create an array of objects. So it's an array of objects. Okay. And also I, I have a variable in which stored the number of the elements in the lists. The constructor public array based lists. So in this constructor, we create the array. Let's say we create initially the array with 10 elements. Okay. So this array will contain the elements that contains in the list. Initially, it's 10 elements available in the list. We will increase that later if needed. But n, n here is the number of the elements in the list. Initially, we don't have elements in the list yet. So that's why we make it as zero. And then we started to implement the operation that are needed in the lists. The first operation is to get the size public and I want to know the size of the list at any time. So to know the size, I will always store the number of element in n. So I just return n. It's just easy operation returning the size. Okay. The next operation, I want to get element in index i, okay? So public, uh, this element will be of type object, and the name of the method is get, and the input is the index i as integer. So I wa want to get element i, it's also straightforward. I just return a of i. So I will return the element at index i in the array. So this is an easy operation as well. Now the next operation, I want to set. So it will be void. It will not return anything. It just will set element i with the value object with the value x let's say so i want to change the value of i to be the value of element at position i to be x it's also easy so i go to element i and change the value to x okay I don't need to return anything. I just change a value at position i to be x. So these are, as you see, it's very easy uh, steps. Now let's go to the more uh, complicated operation. So in the list, we should be able to add elements, right? So public void add we need to add element at, at any index index i and we want to add 
object x. So we need to add object x at element i. And this is the difficult thing in the array. When you are dealing in the array, it's difficult to add new element in the middle. Because in this case, you need to shift all the elements after this element to the right. And this is exactly what we have to do now. So, first, we do a loop. So the first thing, before we do a loop, we are adding elements to the array, right? And we know that the size of the array is 10. What if we have 10 elements already and the list is full? So in this case, we cannot add, right? So first we have to check if, if n plus one, if I want to currently we have n elements in the list, if n plus one is greater than a dot length, so currently a dot length is 10. So if I have 10 elements and 10 plus 1 is 11, is more than 10, then I get problem. I cannot add, I cannot add this element, okay? So let me print system dot out dot print and then well it's a list is full. So I cannot add any element. Okay, but if this is not the case, then I can add some elements. In this case, I will do a loop to shift to make space for the new element. So I have to make, to make a loop for int j equal to n. So I will start with position n and then I will I will stop when j is greater than i and then every time j minus i. So I will this loop. This loops will start from the end of the list. Okay, position n. In position n, actually, we don't have elements because we have elements from position a, zero to n minus one. So position n, we don't have element, but because we are adding new element, we will have element at position n. So I want to shift the element at position from n minus one to n and from n minus 2 to n minus 1 and so on. So this is what I wanted to do. I wanted a of j should be equal to a of j minus 1. So here I'm shifting elements to the right. I start from the last element. I shift it from j, uh, from j minus 1 to j. Okay, so at, at the beginning of the loop, j will be n. So I will move the elements in n minus 1 to the position n. Okay, and the same for all elements. I will stop when I have j e greater than i, which means it's i plus 1. So I will move the element at i to the element at i plus 1. And then I have space at position i. After I have space at this position, I will just say, okay, I make space for the new element. So the new element will be stored in position A safely. Okay. And after that, I will increase the size of the list because I added new element. So with this, I implement the add operation. If you see, it's complicated operation because I have to shift all the elements after 
the position i and this is costly this take a lot of operations yeah so that's why that the disadvantage of dealing with the array we don't have the flexibility to add in the middle unless we do complicated things the last operation to to do is to public is to remove so remove will return an object it's remove and we remove index i the same thing if you move something in the middle so first we have to uh, store this element somewhere object let's call it x equal to a of i this is the element we want to remove so we store it in x and then if we remove it we need to shift back all the elements in the right so again we have to make a for loop and j equal to i we'll start with i j less than n j plus plus so we'll start from position i and then we shift all the element so we start with j the element at j should be the element which was previously at j plus 1 so the, the first loop j is equal to i so we will move i plus 1 the element at i plus 1 to i so i now is empty because we already want to remove this uh, element and we will do the same till uh, n minus 1 so if we have j n minus 1 we will no actually we 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 do it till n minus 1 because then in the last loop j will be n minus 2 so we will take n minus 2 and we will store in n minus 2 the position at n minus 1 and this is the last position so and now so now we will decrease the number of element after this so we already removed one element and then we just return the value of the element we want to delete which is x so this is the remove operation so for sure now i implement all the operation i need for the lists if you see we have the size operation the get the sit add remove and so on so i hope this was clear and in the second video we'll do some improvement in this code and also we want to test we can test now before the improvement how to test this class i will just create array based list l equal to new array based list so i cre create new list if i want if i want to print the size of the list so initially the size is l dot size so the size will be zero right if i run the code then i get size zero if i want to add to the list i have to specify i want to add to position zero and i want to add ahmed if i want to print ahmed i can use the get okay so i want to print the element at get zero which should be ahmed so let's see if i want to print the size now the size should be one after adding ahmed 
if I want to remove or before remove let me try the set operation so I can do L dot set at position I and I want to change the name to honey so after this so if, if you print the size the size is still one because I just remove Ahmed to honey okay and after this I want to remove honey so I can do L dot remove I want to remove the, the index at zero and then I want after this to print the size the size should be actually zero again because the empty is list so with this I, I just make some tests to test all the function in the lists the next video will see how to improve these these functions I hope the video was clear and see you in the next video